Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Autocrat. Autocrat is an add-on that allows you to merge information from a spreadsheet to the other formats. So it is an automated email system. In this video, we are going to use Google Form resp responses with Autocrat add-on. So basically, we are going to automatically generate the certificate using Autocrats in the Google Form. So gear up your seats. So the first thing you have to do is to create a Google form and share it with your audience. I have already created a Google form and share it with my audience and got one of the responses just to show you as an example. And if you don't know how to create Google form, don't worry when we are here. You can just check it out our tutorial on Google forms in our playlist titled ICT based teaching learning tools. So let's get going. You have to choose the option of responses from here and you can see I have got one response which I have taken as an example. So here, here it will show your responses and you just have to create a spreadsheet. Just click on the spreadsheet. Here's the option of create a new spreadsheet. So just click on the create. Now you will be directed to a new page. So this is our spreadsheet and here it will be shown the number of responses you will get. So basically in this video, we are going to use add-on and which is an autograd add-on. So let's go to the add-on and launch the autograd. So in another dialog box appear. And you have to click on a new job to start a new work in the autograd. So let's add the name to your job. And click on the next option. Now you have to choose a template for sending, uh, for sending your participants or the audience. I'm gonna send certificate. So you can either choose it from the drive or you can get the example that is the default templates in the autocrat. So I'm choosing it from the my drive. So just select it. Now you can just see if it's the correct one or not. So it is the correct one which we have created earlier. So next, click on the next. Now here's the mapping. What does this mapping means? Here map, mapping means we have to switch a name, uh, we have to switch a word with something else. So here this you can see the name is being used with the less than and more than arrows, which means it's dynamic and it can be changed accordingly. That is, it's going to take the values from the spreadsheet. So here's this name has to be switched with the name. We have to just say it has to be switched with name. Here are the various options. If you want, here is this various options. You can just choose this from here. Let's close it out. So basically it means that this name has to be switched with this name and it has this will be taken uh, values from the spreadsheet. You can see from this name. It will take the value. So let's get the next. So here comes the file name. So you have to just choose the file name. You can just choose the name from here. You have to just click it. This it means it means it means it has been copied. Now you have to just paste it and just type it. This is the name which will be sent to the people or the audiences. Now you have to change, you have to select the type of the format which you want to say, uh, type of the format of the file which you want to send, either Google Slides or the PDF. I'm gonna send with the PDF format. So click on the next. Now you have to choose the destination folder. It will be saved. Just select it. And next. It's an optional feature. You can just give it out this too. And the next option is to share docs and the send emails. You have to share this doc. You have to just click on the yes. 
and here's the other options you will get. So you have to share your doc as a PDF because we have already selected the PDF. So the next question arises, allow collaborators to reshare. If you want to give the authority to the third party to share it, to basically to reshare it. So let's go with no. Send from generic no reply address. It's being no. Now this is to where you want to send. We just have to send to the these emails. You just have to click. It's being copied and you have to paste. The next comes with the CC. You can just add the blank carbon copy or the carbon copy with this. Next, let's add subject to this. And you can also use the tags like this. You just have to copy it and just paste. So next click on the next. So here comes the triggers. It means when these mails have to be sent, you have two options either run on form trigger, it means as and when you click, then only it will be sent. You have to run it manually basically. Or run on time trigger, here you have to set a time when it has to be mailed or sent. So if you click on the yes, here's the option. And if you click on this yes, so you have to, there you can see there's an option of setting a time. So I'm going with this no and form, run on form trigger, which means I'm going to send these mails manually. Now you have to click on the save. Now your say job is being saved. Now it means we have to run it manually. So you have to run the job. Just click on the run the job. I think my connection is quite slow, so it's been taking a long time. Yes, let's see whether I got the certificate or not. So here's the mail for the info at the rate odd particle and here I got the certificate. The subject is odd, thanks for your participation. And you can just see my certificate. This is to certify that Odd has participated in this competition held on this. Now, this is how you can automatically generate the certificates using Autocrad. So I hope you have understood how to generate certificates. Keep practicing as nobody else is gonna do your work for you. Thank you. Stay safe and stay tuned with Odd Particle. Bye, guys.